In this video, we're overclocking the AMD Ryzen 7 5800X3D CPU all the way up to 4741 megahertz in five minutes or less using the Asus ROG Crosshair 8 Extreme motherboard and EK Quantum Custom Loop water cooling. I'll speed run you through the BIOS settings and provide some notes and tips along the way. Please note that this is not the full picture on how to overclock this CPU. If you want to learn how to overclock this CPU in more detail, please have a look at the longer Scatterbencher video that's already up on this channel. Please don't just outright copy the settings and apply them to your system. All right, let's do this. When you've entered the BIOS, go to the Extreme Tweaker menu. Set AI Overclock Tuner to DOCP standard. That will make the memory run at our XMP rated frequency of DDR4-4266 and timings. Set BCLK frequency to 104.2. That will increase our precision boost algorithm frequencies by about 4.2%. In our case, the maximum boost frequency ceiling goes up from 4550 MHz to 4741 MHz. Set memory frequency to DDR4-3681. Because we increased the BCLK frequency by 4.2%, our XMP rated frequency also increased 4.2% to DDR4-4445. Since this is too high, we set a lower memory frequency. Set F-clock frequency to 1840 MHz. That ensures we run the memory, memory controller and Infinity Fabric in synchronous mode. Set core performance boost to enabled. That will ensure precision boost is enabled while using a manual BCLK frequency. Enter the external DigiPlus power control submenu. Set core voltage suspension to enabled. Voltage suspension will force the CPU core voltage to stay within a specific range even when relying on the dynamic voltage of Precision Boost 2. Set CO mitigator to 0.3. That helps mitigate system instability when using aggressive curve optimizer settings by continuously boosting the voltage under very light loads. Set voltage floor mode to dynamic. Dynamic mode allows us to configure a custom voltage temperature curve that will make the target voltage range change based on the operating temperature. The voltage floor is the lower bound for the target voltage. Set floor low Vmin to 1.1625. Set floor hot temp to 85. Set floor high Vmin to 1.325. Set floor cold temp to 60. Set voltage ceiling mode to dynamic. The voltage ceiling is the upper bound for the target voltage. Set ceiling low Vmax to 1.2. Set ceiling hot temp to 85. Set ceiling high Vmax to 1.375. Set ceiling cold temp to 65. Voltage suspension is effective up to 0.3 volts delta between the requested and target voltage. If the CPU requests 1.4 volt, then the effective voltage will be 1.375 volt, as the difference between both values is less than 0.3 volt. Leave the external DigiPlus power control submenu. Enter the Tweaker's Paradise submenu. Set Force OC mode disabled to enabled. That will ensure manual OC mode is disabled while using a manual BCLK frequency. Leave the Tweaker's Paradise submenu. Set CPU core voltage to offset mode. Set offset mode sign to plus. Set CPU core voltage offset to 0.05. Go to the advanced menu. Enter the AMD CBS submenu. Enter the CPU common options submenu. Set global C state control to enabled. That will ensure proper frequency scaling when the BCLK frequency is over 101 MHz. Then save and exit the BIOS. To ensure everything is working as intended, we rerun some benchmarks and check the performance increase compared to the default settings. Higher is better and all of our benchmark scores are higher. We see a maximum performance increase of plus 13% in the AI benchmark. The highest core clock reported in the operating system is 4741 MHz for every core. When running Prime95 small FFTs with AVX disabled, the average CPU effective clock is 4359 MHz with 1.208 volts. The average CPU temperature is 86.7 degrees Celsius. The ambient and water temperature is 24.4 and 31.6 degrees Celsius. 
The average CPU package power is 131.7 watts. And that's it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.